Hey guys, it's Matt, welcome to Speed Tutor. and yesterday you may have seen the big announcement from Steam and what their policy will be surrounding releasing games that feature AI or real-time AI content. Now, it was very muddy originally when people were releasing content on Steam, whether you could release just pre-generated images and use them within your game, whether Steam would have an issue with that, or much larger games which have it all solely based on AI content. Now, Steam have released a statement talking about it so i'll read it through with you today and you'll learn exactly what steam are going to do with the current practices of ai and you can comment down below on whether you think steam are just allowing the floodgates to be open once again because corporate greed wins over everything let me know they wrote back in june they shared their goal on how to continue to ship as many games as possible on steam and they needed some time to learn about the fast moving and the legally murky space that is ai technology especially given Steam's worldwide reach. Even though I would still say that Steam have been very muddy in what they release these days, because mostly anything gets through the floodgates these days. But after them spending the last few months learning about this space, talking to game developers, they're going to be making changes on how they handle the use of AI technology. And this will allow people to release the majority of games that use it. So first of all, they're going to be updating the content survey that developers have to fill out when submitting to Steam. The survey now includes a new AI disclosure section where you'll have to describe how you're using AI within the development. It separates AI usage in games into two broad categories. Now the first one is pre-generated and the second one is live generated like I alluded to in the original. So pre-generated is any kind of content, whether that's art, code, sound, or whatever, created with the help of AI tools during development under the Steam's distribution agreement, you promise Valve that your game will not include illegal or infringing content and that your game will be consistent with your marketing materials. And in Steam's evaluation, when you do submit an initial release, they will analyze the AI-generated content as they would in any non-specific AI-generated content. AI is still difficult to determine whether it infringes any rights or not, so I don't know how they're going to determine whether this is actually consistent with nothing that infringes or is illegal. But again, Unity are releasing their own set of tools, which are supposed to be sustainably sourced and free to use commercially and they've got their model set up which doesn't specifically drag the content from other creators and other sources of the internet then the other suggestion is the live generated so it's any kind of content created with the help of ai tools while the game is running in addition to the following same rules as pre-generated ai this comes with an additional requirement you'll need to tell us what kind of guardrails you're putting in place so that your ai to ensure that you're not generating any illegal content. Valve will use this disclosure in the review of the game prior to release, and they will also include disclosure on everybody's Steam page that have filled in that they use AI-generated content so that the customers can understand which game actually uses AI, so you will have a part on your Steam page for it. Second, they're using a new system on Steam that allows players to report illegal content inside games that do use generated content, which is live by AI. And that's directly using the in-game overlay. Players can easily submit a report if they encounter content that they believe to be inappropriate or doesn't have the guardrails on what they've previously suggested. And today's changes are a result of improving their understanding of the landscape and the risks associated with this space, as well as talking to game developers that use AI and those who build AI-specific tools. This will allow Steam to be much more open to releasing games using AI technology, and the only exception to this will be adult-only sexual-based content that is created with live-generated AI, and they're unable to release that type of game because, again, that's much harder to be guarded against what it creates. It's taken Steam some time to figure it out, and they suggest that they're sorry about making it harder for some developers to make decisions around their games, and they feel like they don't serve their players and developers correctly, if they rush into decisions or whether yes or no something could work and they'll continue to learn from games that are submitted to steam and the legal process surrounding ai and they will revisit this situation and decision when it comes necessary so again like i say if there's any stipulation in the future of exactly what legal requirements need to be put on ai then it may well change and as i say more companies might go to unity's route in terms of their system which is trained in a manner that won't infringe on any legal rights. 
because they make that a paramount issue with everything that they do. And you could tell me whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, and you think that Steam are just allowing everything through because they're all about the money, which they have been in the past, so it wouldn't surprise me, but it still feels unclear as to what they deem illegal and infringing content, really, unless it's based around copyrighted material in terms of taking brands which look slightly different or vice versa. But there's games that have done things like that in the past, taken a very similar brand, giving it a different name. But do check out my Patreon to get over 220 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And do be sure to check out all the savings and everything that you can find in Unity and Game Dev in the comments. And do be sure to check out all my amazing assets on the Unity Asset Store and on my website for massive savings. A big thank you to all my patrons. Massive thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.